Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to add music or sound to your uh, filter. So we're clicking new project, blank project. And first what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, add playback controller. Add assets uh, and audio playback controller. We can just call it music, for example. Then second step is I'm going to add object and this object is going to be speaker. So now I'm going to speaker and for the audio, I'm choosing music. This basically this playback controller. But this playback control needs to have the audio which is playing inside. So we need to find audio. So I'm going to uh, library and I'm clicking music and sounds. And I'm just going to import this one, clicking done. And I'm picking this. Let me come here and then come back because now I don't see it. And now I'm clicking this audio and here I'm picking play. And the music starts to play. OK, so but what, for example, if we want to do some other audio? So then we go to the um, first we go to I usually go to YouTube. I find the audio that I want. For example, this one, and then I copy this link and there is lots of different like programs to download from YouTube. Like I'm using this website, presaver.com. So and I'm just clicking save here. And then I'm clicking here. It's in Russian. So I'm just clicking skip here and then I'm getting this uh, download in MP4. But before for the Spark ER we need M4A. Uh, so I'm going to give you a link to this website for the conversion. So in this website, I'm going to choose file and the file is going to be like, for example, this, the one we just downloaded, Jingle Bells Rock. I'm clicking open and then I'm going to the change sampling rate and I'm picking 4400 and then uh, change audio channel. I'm picking mono. And for example, if I want to trim, for example, I want uh, my audio to play just uh, to five seconds. So I'm going to put 0 0.5. Uh, like it's going to be 0, 0, probably 0, 0, 0, 5. So it's going to be just five seconds. And it's already ready. So it's going to be five seconds of this jingle bells music so i'm going to click show in finder and now i'm going back to oh, i'm going back to our spark ER. so now instead of picking this audio from the uh, library i'm picking audio import import from computer and then i'm picking this jingle bells and now let me click play So that was all five seconds, but let's do so user can actually uh, with the tab on the screen uh, able or disable the audio. So I'm going to the uh, view, show hide patch editor. And now I'm searching for the screen tab. And now I'm going to the uh, to the playback controller and I'm picking our music and then clicking on play. And now I'm just connecting them and switch patch connected them. So now what we can do, we can go here, simulate touch and we're cl clicking. So basically a uh, person clicking on the screen will be able to connect or disconnect um, this, uh, I mean, turn on or turn off the sound. And the last thing, let's give the user 
idea that this filter has an audio. So we go to capabilities, we go to here plus, and we are searching for instructions. And then we go to custom instructions, we are opening them, select instruction, tap to play, that's what we add, and then we click done, and then we go to device, choose extraction, tap to change, tap to hold, tap to so it didn't, didn't appear here, so we go here, see all instructions, and search tap to play. And now, and now this instruction appeared. So by clicking this, I'm going to restart our filter. So I'm restarting, and then you see that tap to play appeared. And then you can change input how long, how many seconds we wanted to stay this tap to play instruction. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I love you. Bye-bye.